Here is a way to derive the Poisson distribution as an approximation to the binomial distribution. Recall that the population mean of a binomial NP random variable X is mu equals NP. When you take this equation and you solve for P, you get P is equal to mu divided by N. And what this means is for the probability mass function for the binomial distribution, you can replace every P, and P occurs here and here, with a mu divided by N. So that accounts for the mu divided by N to the X power here, and 1 minus mu over N to the N minus X power here. Now the other thing that has been done, recall that N choose X, can be written as n factorial divided by n minus x factorial times x factorial. You'll recall that when you compute these things by hand, there are always a bunch of terms that cancel out on the uh, lower end of n factorial. Namely, everything from n minus x and below cancels with n minus x factorial. And so this has been written with an x factorial in the denominator. And actually, there has been cancellation here. You just get the first x of the terms, namely n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 up to n minus x plus 1. So this is just another way, less compact, of course, of writing n choose x. Now, in this next step, going from this step right here to this step, 1 minus mu over n to the n minus x power is broken up into two terms, namely 1 minus mu over n to the n and 1 minus mu over n to the negative x. Notice you have like base, add exponents, but you're doing it in reverse here to break it up. Now the next thing you'll notice is that there are x terms here, x terms here in the denominator, you have mu multiplied by itself x times and n multiplied by itself x times. So you can take this n raised to the x power and place one of those n's underneath, underneath each one of these factors. So you get n divided by n, n minus 1 divided by n, all the way up to n minus x plus 1 divided by n. This gets multiplied by what's left over, which is mu raised to the x power, that's here, and x factorial comes in down here. Now, so far, all we've done is taken a very nice compact expression and made it not very compact, but there's a reason for that. We're now going to take the limit as n goes to infinity. That's going to change the support. Instead of going from 0 up to n, it'll go from 0 to infinity. In the limit as n goes to infinity, this of course will always be a 1, but in the limit as n goes to infinity, n minus 1 over n, that also goes to 1, and in fact all of these terms go to 1. Then this term right here, mu to the x divided by x factorial, does not contain n, so he will remain as is. You may recall from your calculus class that 1 minus mu divided by n raised to the n power, that that term in the limit as n goes to infinity goes to e to the minus mu. And then finally, this last term as n goes to infinity, this approaches 1. When you put this all together, the limiting probability mass function of the binomial distribution turns out to be mu raised to the x power multiplied by e to the minus mu divided by x factorial and that's for x equals 1, 0, 1, 2, etc. This is known as the Poisson distribution and it is parametrized by a single parameter mu which happens to be its mean. But for reasons associated with the Poisson process, a lot of authors, instead of using mu, will use lambda. And that will be the form that we use on the next slide.